Alright guys, from the project back again for another video for you guys for today and um just wanna get my quick thoughts on Raw last night and before I get into the unbagging of uh, my D V D update and uh you know I gotta say Raw was really good last night. Uh we didn't have any guest hosts, uh we didn't really have any, you know, comedic scenes or anything like that. And uh, you know, which made the show even uh well pretty uh, actually good, so um you know, it was enjoyable, except for one match I didn't really too, uh, care about too much, but uh, overall, it was a good show. Um, we did have Mr. McMahon coming out saying that um, Bret Hart is fired uh, due to the fact because of those uh, challenges that were coming his way with the general manager, uh, of him being general manager, and uh, as a result to that, uh, after being attacked by the NXT rookies last week, uh, pretty much because of that, he is fired. And uh, so it kind of sucks in that part. So hopefully we get to see Bret Hart back uh, as general manager. If not, then we'll see what happens. Um, but we did have an anonymous general manager, uh, you know, sending requests and stuff like that via email, which Michael Cole read during the show whenever he sent an email. And he did make a match for Cena versus Sheamus for the WWE title. And of course, at the top of the show, Cena made his uh, rematch clause. Uh, for last night, and that's what happened. And also with that, we had uh, Mr. McMahon as uh, guest referee for that match. Uh, after that, we had a Chris Jericho versus Evan Bourne match. And if Chris Jericho lost, he would uh, leave WWE. Something like what happened with him and Chris, uh, excuse me, with John Cena uh, a couple years back. And uh, Chris Jericho didn't uh, get to lose in this match. He did win win against Evan Bourne with the code breaker and uh, these two really uh, work well with each other so I really like that and uh, this little feud that's going on with them um, I'm actually really liking it so uh, hopefully we get to see more stuff uh, with Evan Bourne's big push which I'm really liking so far also we got to see uh, Natalia versus Tamina in a pretty good match which uh, got interrupted by the NXT rookies yet again and uh, this time, the NXT rookies uh, apologizing uh, to the Hart family and to the Hart dynasty. Uh, apparently, the Hart dynasty then uh, accepted the apology and attacked the NXT rookies. Um, as a result to that, and then the NXT rookies then went to apologize for their actions since they had their contracts now on Raw. And uh, that's pretty much what happened with that. Also, they came out during the main event versus John Cena and Sheamus that match and uh, that was a good match it lasted for a good while and uh, they came out again uh, Sheamus was able to get out of the way and the NXT rookies attacked John Cena as a result of that uh, they took him out uh, turned the announcer table over while the announcer announcers weren't there so you know they attacked John Cena yet again and uh, this time um, you know, Mr. McMahon seemed pretty surprised about that and I guess impressed if you want to say that. And uh, he was, uh, you know, actually coming to think that the NXT rookies were going to attack him too. Uh, after a while, it didn't seem like it. But then uh, they did, yes, attack the boss, uh, Mr. McMahon. And, you know, I kind of thought, um, you know, Mr. McMahon was behind this. Apparently not since they attacked him. And uh, that's what pretty much closed the show. Of course, we had other stuff throughout the night, but just wanted to get my quick thoughts on the NXT Invasion yet again. So, you know, overall, it was a good show, really enjoyable, definitely one to check out. And now that that's over with, uh, let's get into the um, bagging with uh, Over the Limit, which came out on sale today for 15 bucks. I got it at Walmart, so let's get on right into it. And um, right down here. Okay. Got over there. And uh, this is over the limit. I'm gonna get that open for you guys right now. Actually got that off pretty well. Alright, so over the limit. On sale now. Just got it today. 
as you can see. Pretty cool cover on the back as well. Um, and what we got here. I quit match for the WWE title, John Cena vs. Batista. Uh, Rey Mysterio vs. CM Punk. There's Pledge vs. Hair Match. Eve vs. Marie Stevens title. McIntyre vs. Kofi Kingston IC title. Hurt Dynasty vs. Jericho and The Miz for the tag team titles. Swagger vs. The Big Show for the world title. And Orton vs. Edge. And uh, we do have actually quite a few uh, special features. Uh, no DQ match uh, for the US title. Bret Hart vs. Mr. McMahon. Uh, excuse me. Bret Hart vs. The Miz. Uh, well, I really failed on that one. Um, then we got here surveillance footage of CM Punk and the Strata Society. Uh, Monday Night Raw. Uh, I think it's, yeah, it's the commercials. Uh, so, uh, you know, not really looking forward for that. Um, even though they were pretty funny, but I don't know why that's a special feature, but anyway, there is Over the Limit, uh, definitely check it out when you guys can, it's on sale now, like I said, and that has to do with the video, let me know what you guys thoughts on Monday Night Raw, and, um, you know, Fatal 4 2 of course I got my review on that, so, uh, that has to do with the video, guys, and as always, I will talk to you guys later.